In the opening lines of the gospel passage for Easter Sunday, we are told, on the first day of the week, Mary of Magdala came to the tomb early in the morning while it was still dark. Can you imagine what was darting through the mind of this brave follower of Jesus on that somber, loveless morning? Her mind must have been filled with all kinds of conflicting images, memories. There were cherished images of Jesus bringing life and hope to so many people he encountered, including her. But those memories are crisscrossed by the nightmare images of Calvary, the deafening shouts of the crowds, the horrific sounds of hammers driving nails into wood. The dramatic events of Calvary had taken from her the one she had come to love and to follow. The darkness of that early morning hour reflected the darkness that enveloped her heart. She discovers, though, that Jesus is no longer a prisoner of the grave. At first, she doesn't understand this wondrous event, so she runs to share her perplexing news with Peter and the beloved disciple. And the gospel tells us that the beloved disciple came, he saw, and he believed. The good news of Easter is beginning to sink into the minds and hearts of the disciples. You know, friends, during the past year, our world has endured a pandemic that has at times made us feel like we were enveloped by darkness. It's taken the lives of more than half a million people in the U.S. alone and many more across the world. We've been waiting for the stone to be rolled away so that we might come out of the tomb. And in addition to a lethal virus, we've experienced political divisions and a resurgence of that racism that has so scarred our nation through the centuries. And so we Christians celebrate this Easter Sunday as part of a wounded nation and a wounded world. We come at this time to profess our belief in the resurrection of the Lord, to renew our vows of faith, vows we made at baptism. As Peter says in the first reading for today's liturgy, we've been chosen by God to be witnesses to the good news of Easter, witnesses to the gospel of Easter. Our belief in the resurrection doesn't give us easy answers to the profound questions occasioned by suffering, like why are there killer viruses in God's good creation? But our faith does give us a hope that there's a light shining in the midst of the darkness. It seems to me that two aspects of our Easter faith are especially important for us at this time. First, the death and resurrection of the Lord Jesus assures us that the presence of God can be found in the person who is suffering, even in one undergoing a horrific death by crucifixion. And second, Easter assures us that God's signature activity is bringing life out of death. We can't always see how God is doing that. The lines of God's life-giving action cannot be traced with precision. But we believe that God is always on the move to bring new life out of the many forms of death that we encounter. This is, in fact, what God does for a living.